we find a lot of our patients have elevated copper levels, and some of the some of the populations for the, for which this happens are women with postpartum depression. Roughly 90% of them have really elevated copper levels, and we think that's the the real uh, reason why they have this problem because copper elevates. If you have excess copper, it elevates the neurotransmitter norepinephrine in your brain, and it also tends to cause a depression of dopamine, and these are two very important neurotransmitters. Another population are, are hyperactive children. Nearly all hyperactive children have elevated copper. Copper not only tends to increase the amount of the neurotransmitter norepinephrine, it also increases adrenaline. So these kids are on hydrenaline, and that's why they're often in constant motion. Uh, other, other things that, other disorders that occur that are associated with high copper include paranoid schizophrenia. It also includes certain types of depression, and, um, and, and nearly all autistics have elevated copper. So there's a number of very important and large populations for whom elevated copper is a problem. And the reason why you see the same imbalance in so many different populations, so many different, completely different diseases, is because it has such a powerful effect on neurotransmitter activity.